The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Decidete. Cosa qua? Qui, grazie. Prego, assogni. Assogni. Di Francesco, do you think that uh, with uh, Varo could this uh, team have uh, or this uh, game have uh, taken a different course? Aside from the VAR, we were deprived of something in the most important part of the game in which this team did something truly extraordinary tonight. It's also in terms of uh, determination and motivation. Uh, we um, made two goals by ourselves, uh, but in terms of our attitude uh, and performance, I really can't uh, criticize uh, anybody. Aside from the VAR, I must say that when I arrived at the stadium, I felt so um, excited and I'm so sad uh, that I couldn't l give them truly a magic night, although it was a great night uh, in, from my point of view in many ways, but I was sure, I was sure that we would recuperate in the second half uh, and I regret the fact that we lost moments uh, complaining uh, rather than planning. That really bothers me and you sometimes it's that one or two minutes that can make the difference in a game, but the VAR, it could have given rather than taken away from us, I'm sure, because there were some pretty extraordinary moments. First of all, congratulations. Uh, I wanted to ask you, did you realize that you gave uh, this team an international face or dimension? Thanks to your work, this team has a, a reached the position of being uh, uh, the top four at European level and it played a semi-final um, you know in a Champions League uh, and above and beyond the, the games the way they went uh, the formats and so on what you did is you gave uh, this team an international um, mindset thank you and I think that through this mindset uh, which is not built uh, you know overnight you can really become great there's a process of growth uh, that is you know requires mistakes uh, there were many in uh, Liverpool also uh, you know 45 minutes not played with the determination uh, that we displayed today because today also we had um, moments uh, against a very powerful uh, players who steal the ball to hurt uh, um, but you know we really defended well um, sometimes exposing ourselves uh, to some risks. Uh, but that said, I'm really happy uh, with how this team has grown in terms of mindset. But that said, we still have a long ways to go, and I think that we still can grow a great deal. Hughes for Sky Sport. Uh, good evening. Can you just um, explain from your point of view Try and describe a game like that that we've had tonight and a tie like that. It's the more goals than any Champions League semi final ever before. Can you just try and describe how a match like this occurs, how a tie like this occurs? When two um, teams face each other to hurt each other, it's like watching, you know, a boxing um, match. Do you like to um, watch two boxers who want to hurt each other or who are just playing to, for time? Uh, well, in Liverpool, we didn't, at least for 45 minutes, uh, think this way. And I think that's what made the difference. Uh, a team that goes under two to one, uh, um, conceding two goals because that's what happened uh, um, and the response it had uh, means it goes to show that this team has some great men and it has grown in many respects so, and I'm very happy about this and you know as for the mistakes and the various situations I mean it would take forever to explain them but I wish there were many many other games just like this one. Maida, Corriere dello Sport. 
good evening. Just summarizing, do you think that Roma deserved to go through, uh, considering its uh, opportunities? And no. Liverpool stole nothing from us because it has proven to be a, tr a great team with some great players. But had we turned things around, uh, I mean, they did. They played 45 extraordinary moments. Uh, we played as many in the second half, uh, and that's, you know, if you look at the um, goal actions and the various situations, uh, I think that they correspond. Uh, they're more or less even. Um, the 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 team that went through went through thanks to details. Golia Raisport. Golia Raisport. Good evening, Eusebio. Now you're going to dive back into the national um, tournament uh, against uh, Cagliari for the next Champions League. Uh, Pallotta, uh, I'm sure, has sent his greetings to you. Maybe it's early to say, but do you think that uh, well, this uh, team has persuaded you, and what does it have to grow? Will you ask uh, um, for reinforcement uh, in view of the next champion league? Is it easier to start again over, to start over? This is not the right time to talk about the market. Uh, it's not the time to evaluate what this team needs. First of all, we need to achieve certain uh, goal, uh, goals, which is uh, that of going through to the champions. Uh, um, uh, going back to the question that was asked before about mindset, that's what makes the difference, especially in this kind of a setting. And I'm really happy to have seen Trigoria grow so much in mindset. And I hope that it will consider uh, continue along this course. Uh, what we've achieved is not enough. Uh, we need to become more ambitious. I wanted to ask you something, aside from congratulating you on uh, the result, because uh, at one point Roma or uh, seemed to be about to throw in the towel, and yet it had the strength to just uh, push through till the end. Uh, do you have a sense that, well, what can a team that's so strong uh, in the individual uh, games uh, need? What does it need to avoid the mistakes uh, that have condemned it, that have been its downfall? You know, in one month uh, of a national um, tournament, if you consider its uh, um, goal, uh, its results against uh, uh, Juventus and Naples, uh, uh, well, if we cons it, we need to treat the, all the games in the same way, um, even when you're in the best shape, uh, if we were to consider the um, first leg of uh, uh, this uh, go, Liverpool ran uh, much faster. Uh, today, thing, we turn things around. Uh, you know, something has to trigger inside one's head uh, that makes the difference in terms of approaching certain matches. And it's not just about tactics. Uh, some might think it's just about numbers. But, you know, numbers, uh, I can leave that to others. I explain to you what my football is. And you know what I think, uh, you know, one uh, the, 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 when you're really dynamic, uh, as we were tonight, you can really fight anyone. Uh, as I see it, I think that we uh, slowed down after we uh, went through against the uh, Karabakh. I think that uh, that's when the team started to sort of slow down. I don't think that I was very good at that, and the team also um, was not. And that's a mistake that we should not re repeat if we want to improve. Mr. Um, good evening. In the light of tonight's uh, results, uh, next year, should uh, Roma qualify for Champions League, uh, what would it strive for? A new semi final, or would it want to make the ultimate quantum leap? Well, First of all, I don't make the market. There's others uh, who make the market based on the objectives of uh, the club. Uh, so it is uh, the club that sets out its goals and objectives, right? The same applies to you. I mean, you can have your own personal goals. But I think that this team, once it makes it uh, to the semifinals, do you think that they're happy with just one round, one group? Should we make it to champions? Um, we must always strive to become ever greater. But that said, I think that 
you know, I'm I'm upset. I'm kind of pissed off because, you know, when I mull things over, I try to think and I, I think about what we could have done. But let's consider what Roma has done. It played um, way back a final in uh, the Champions Cup and what it's done in these past, uh, you know, 35 years of Champions Cup and Champions League. I mean, this year we did something truly extraordinary. You know, when I spoke about uh, Sassuolo that made it to the Europa League, uh, th that was a repetition. Uh, but Roma, it has a totally different dimension now. So we mustn't lose what we have acquired this year. The last question. Good evening, Eusebio. Regarding your dimension from Sassuolo to the semifinals of champions, what has this meant for you personally? I, I'm always myself in the sense that I've tried to um, pursue my ideas, carry them through. They're fundamental to me. They've got nothing to do with figures and numbers. They're to do with rationale, with uh, philosophy, and it can be European or Italian, doesn't matter. What I try to do is convey my way of thinking, my general mindset. And it's not just in the field, I assure you. It's not just in the field. Tonight, this team has proven this, uh, as it did in other circumstances with some highs and lows, but it has tro shown its own growth, but also in, uh, on the personal level as men, uh, as a compact team, uh, uh, rejoicing together and suffering together. Only this mindset combined uh, with the technical abilities and skills of each player can one really become great. Thank you. Thank you.